In this video, we are going to turn this 3D model into an amazing asthmatic view. This would be a 5 simple step tutorial of SketchUp and Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's jump to the first step that is exploding the model. Most important part is that model should be in groups. So to make a group, first select the object, right click and make group. Now we will set up the camera. So go to camera, select parallel projections. Now click on this icon which is ISO to make it isometric. If you are unable to see this, right click in the blank space and select the views. So camera is set up. Now let's explode it. Click on each part and move it in upward direction. To lock in this direction, just click the upper arrow key. Let's move it by 10 meters. Similarly, we will arrange all of them. So first we have to save the scene. To go to view, animation, add scene. So before exporting it, we will change the styles. So go to this style tab. If you are unable to see this style tab here, go to windows, default tray and select styles. Now under styles, we will go to edit and change the profile by 5. This will make a little bit line bit heavier. Now, now go to this icon, select ground and select the ground color towards white. OK. Transparent full. Now it's ready to export. Go to file, export, 2D graphics. And select the first select this JPEG and go to option and untick this first and then set the pixels according to your need I'm setting just a higher number okay and click on export now let's move to the step 3 that is the Photoshop part drag and drop the image to the Photoshop Resize it according to the page. Remember to work in groups to make everything organized. Now click and drag the guidelines to make the reference for the horizontal lines. If you are unable to see these rulers, press Ctrl R to hide and unhide them. Select the pen tool and set fill to none, strokes to 6 pixels and line type to dash. These guidelines will help us to make straight lines at the right place. Now the guidelines work is complete so we can clear them. To clear these guidelines, go to view and clear guidelines. Select all the lines and decrease the opacity so that the main focus is on the model, not on the lines. Now to showcase the details, we will first make a circle. Hold Alt and Shift to make it from the center. In Property tab, we will set the fill to None and Stroke to 6 pixels. If you are not seeing these properties here, you can go to Windows and check these properties.
organize them in groups use pen tool to make the line and at the end we will make a red dot for this we will set the fill color to red and turn off the stroke decrease the opacity of the lines now drag the image which we want to fit in it adjust it to the size of circle we can decrease the opacity so that we can see it clearly now to select the internal part of the circle first hold the shift key and click on the shape of this layer tab remember to click on the icon not on the name and then click on mask offset it little bit from the border hold alt to transform it equally from all the sides now copy this group by dragging the group and on this plus sign it will make it a copy now similarly add other details like of interior or some construction detail in these circles so basically this mask is like the part which will be black painted will be deleted and the white part will be shown so you can use the brush to paint the black and white to hide or unhide the rest of the model or specific part of this image now we will create arrows for the annotation for this we will use the pen tool click and drag to make it a curved line for this we are using the continuous line type and with the lesser line weight now first raster this shape and merge them to a single layer this will make it little organized and decrease the opacity of this add a text box and give it a name similarly we will annotate all the parts i will suggest you to not to copy the arrows because then they will look similar to each other try to make them individually so that there is a randomness in the whole scene it looks more sketchy a sense of scale is missing in this composition so let's add people and trees to it these trees and people give a sense of scale to the viewer so always place a human figure in your scene i have downloaded them from studio alternate i will be adding the links in the description you can check that out resize the people with a familiar size as i am using this door height to adjust this figure now with this human figure we can proportionately resize all the other images after placing all these element the scene is still not feeling like it's complete because all the elements of this composition are roaming in here so let's give them a shadow and a ground 
to add shadows just duplicate the layer hold control and drag a corner to flatten them on the ground decrease the opacity so that it looks like a shadow always remember shadow should be in a single direction in the direction of light and according to the height of the object the higher the object the larger will be the shadow now in this shadow we we can see that it is a colored picture so we have to turn this into a black color so select the shadow and fill it up with the black color and decrease the opacity to make the shadows of these planks we will use a soft round brush move it little bit down to match it with the ground now decrease the opacity now the shadows is overlapping the main picture so we have to delete that so first go to the main layer select the internal parts by magic wand and go back to the shadow layer and delete this part create this remaining shadows now for the ground i have selected this texture i will make copies of this texture and merge them to a single layer similarly hold this hold the control key and move this edge to match the perspective of this image alt drag to make this copy now create a mask over it and use a soft brush to blend it with the ground now to delete the overlapping part we will go to the main picture and select the white part now right click and select inverse now fill this selection with the black on the mask of the ground layer select the internal parts with the magic wand and fill white on this mask let's give them a finishing touch with a heading and a grid background all right guys i hope you find this video useful if you want to learn more please do like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the future videos this is i architect signing off